I'm going to teach you today about how to balance really safely and how to practice it at home. Now, I suggest people to balance a lot throughout the day. If they're trying to get better, this is a patterning issue where you're trying, you're trying to turn on the right things to keep you stable and upright and not falling. So if you only do it for a minute, once a day, you're not going to get the gains that you really should be getting if you're doing it throughout the day. So I tell people to do it sometimes if they're brushing their teeth, or if they're waiting for their coffee to purr, or they're bored watching a commercial on the TV, something like that, where there's some consistency to it and it makes it easier and becomes more of a, of a habit. So the thing about balance, if you're thinking about outside of what your visual system is doing, what your vestibular system is doing, we're thinking about how the body reacts to its position in space. And the best way to balance is using the things that are designed to do that the best, which is the foot, the ankle, and the knee. So if you're trying to stand in balance all the time, walking, taking weight on one leg, moving one leg, going up the stairs, etc., if you're using too much around the hip, you're going to get pain on the outside of the hip, maybe overusing part of the hip flexors, you're overdoing things and underusing what you really want. So I'm going to teach you today how, how important it is to when you're trying to stand on one foot, you might have a chair next to you. You might have a chair in front of you. You might have a countertop. You might need something that's sturdier than just a simple chair. Great, do that. Start where you're at. Challenge yourself as you get better because you should. So, if you're starting on one foot, what I'm trying to think about here is my correction is happening with effort around my foot. So I might see a little wiggle down at my foot right now. That's okay. That's normal, that's what I'm supposed to do. If I start to do a little this, if I start to lean my shoulders one way or the other, that's my hip trying to bring me back into center. And they're not supposed to do that on a small scale all the time. They're supposed to do that if I'm running and jumping and doing a lot of things that are big, moment, big movements. Standing on one foot is not a big movement. So the correction only needs to be foot, ankle, and a little bit of the knee. So I might even bend my knee a little bit to correct. I might absorb my body's weight as I adjust. But if I do this, that's when I fall. So don't get in the habit of that. And if you're in that habit, try to change that habit. You can challenge a single leg standing. You can stand here and maybe you're just, maybe you just start with taking off the, the toe on this side, the heel on this side and just having a toe. Maybe you're only there without too much balance. You could even just work back and just put your feet together and have a little bit smaller base of support. Still maybe needing the chair at that point. Try to age your balance from the foot, the ankle, and the knee. Not from moving here. You could try a tandem where one foot is directly in front of the other. So it's like this. And you could try to stand there and maybe not use your hands. Maybe start to take one hand off. Maybe use one finger. Maybe eventually take one hand off. Let's have both hands off rather. And if you need it, it's there. Sometimes you want to challenge a little bit more for some people. So if they're standing and they just want to have their hand hovering over the chair or not, wherever you are, you can either move your leg back a little bit. So it's just a little gentle swing back and forth like that. Just a little bit of movement. You can go out sideways so that you're just changing the lateral movement. You can have one foot in front of the other and go forward and then back. So you're getting that feeling of transferring weight from one foot onto the other. There are frankly a million different ways we can probably add in a little bit of challenge to your balance. But the biggest thing to remember is the movement and correction needs to happen at your foot, your ankle, and your knee. You're going to be much safer.